How did a Utah man get arrested, get tried in court, and convicted all under his younger brother's name? It's a case of identity theft that has judges and attorneys scratching their heads tonight. ABC4's Rick Aaron live at Utah State Prison with this bizarre story, Rick. Yeah, Emily, it's like, oh brother, who art thou? Back in 2017, 31-year-old Bella Fritz served seven months here on drug and weapons charges, except that he really didn't. It was his older brother, Aaron Fritz, the entire time. When he was pulled over in December of 2016 with heroin and a gun in his car, 32-year-old Aaron Paul Fritz told police he was his younger brother, 31-year-old Bella Andrew Fritz, who had a less extensive criminal record. Aaron continued to pose as Bella through his four-month trial, and when convicted, he got the sentence Bella would have received. He served based on his brother's identity and criminal history, he served the sentence that he would have gotten had that been his actual criminal history. But it really infected the entire process with fraud. It wasn't until he was already in prison that an alert corrections officer noticed that despite only being a year apart, Aaron and Bella don't look anything like each other. They brought up the picture of Bella Fritz and it didn't match the person standing in front of the officer, so he checked into it and that's when, according to the guard that he admitted, no, actually, I'm Aaron, not my brother Bella. Now the state attorney general's office is asking for a do-over. They want the conviction overturned so they can try Aaron again, this time as himself, and also get justice for Bella. Now his brother's record, because of his lie, showed convictions that he didn't have, things that he didn't do. So in essence, an innocent person was convicted, and that was very concerning to the state, even though the person who was suffering the consequences was the person who did commit the crime. Now, ironically, Bella Fritz has four previous convictions for providing a false identity himself, and apparently this may be a Fritz family tradition. Today, the boy's grandmother told me that Aaron and Bella's father and uncle used to do the same sort of thing, pretending to be each other all the time. Reporting live at the Utah State Prison in Draper, I'm definitely Rick Aaron, ABC4 News.